Hi guys, wish you a very very good morning. This is me Aisha Joshi and you are watching me on the channel of TYS. So here it is 25th of August 2020 and we are going to take today's Hindu news analysis. The first news is based on political situations. As you all are aware about it that what is happening in Congress and what is going to be happened in future because somewhere the Congress leaders are you know getting disturbed of all these situations what are happening adverse situations at all so the first news is based on sonia to stay on as interim congress chief so sonia gandhi is to stay as a congress chief as of now at stormy cws sessions gandhi loyalist close ranks and aicc to start processing of electing new party chief okay so sonia gandhi will continue to be the interim president of congress until the in all india congress committee hold its next session and the congress working committee said is in a, a resolution on monday after a marathon virtual meeting the sen are meeting witnessed high drama with miss gandhi retiring her intention to step down rahul gandhi questioning the timing of a letter from a section of party leaders seeking a leadership change and calling it an insult of his mother basically what is happening the gandhi family is somewhere like the leaders the other members of congress are just like to um, appoint a new member or i can say the new leader of um, this particular session or congress chief i can say they are they want a new congress chief so somewhere the meeting was held and uh, the rahul um, the situation was like rahul gandhi was not very happy with all these situations because uh, because he thought that this is the insult of her mother and somewhere it is quite disturbing also that the leadership is going to someone others hand other than family or a family member of gandhi's and uh, this all things are happening because of the i can say uh, situation i can say yeah this is the adverse situation this is the negative impact of family and society and everything and this is the basically the negative impact of political situations okay so all these things are uh, happening and let's see what is going to be the next and uh, what will be uh, basically as of now sonia gandhi is it's uh, herself is the leader or i can they say the chief of congress but till the next meeting only after the next meeting of congress they are going to appoint their new leader okay so let's see what is going to be the next in congress okay the next news is the supreme court to study effect of bhushan's statement as you all know from last few days the bhushan's uh, statement is going on on supreme cgi's a uh, picture or uh, that was presented on twitter or whatever the social media was having the picture and uh, the mr pushan who is quite uh, uh, disturbed about all these things and he was not aware about what will happen in future but uh, he gave a statement and somewhere this statement was um, you know uh, the i can say the cracker of a big huge fire okay lawyer won't offer insincere apology and a three judge bench of supreme court led by the justice arun mishra will on tuesday examine the effect of the statement the prashant uh, advocate prashant bhushan gave a statement regarding the cgi and uh, uh, this particular uh, statement is getting the you know um, so adver so um, i can say the so negative impacts are we can see here in this statement and after this statement basically so cgi arun mishra decided to go through the uh, negative impact or i can say effect of the statement on the judicial services so it will be a contempt of court something like that so contempt of my conscience and a, um, yeah and of an institution that i hold is highest esteem and the prashant bhushan said if i retract a statement before this court that i otherwise believe to be true or offer an insincere apology that is my eyes 
would amount to the contempt of my conscience and of an institution that I hold in highest esteem. Somewhere all these things are like, you know, getting um, conflicted and conflicted, complicated things are happening. All these complications are going worse and worse. All these statements are going worse. The statement of Prashant Bhushan was uh, about the CGI's pitcher who was sitting on uh, his bike and something like that. So somewhere this statement was quite... Uh, um, disturbing and uh, he got a very big trap of judicial services i can say supreme court so let's see what is going to be the next and what will the decision regarding this the next uh, um, yeah the next thing is the next article is google pay violation high court seeks reply from government rbi google pay violation is going on and a high court seeks reply the high court want the reply from government or rbi Plea claimed the company was storing sensitive data floating central bank rules. The Delhi High Court on Monday sought response of the Center and the Reserve Bank of India on a plea seeking action against Google Play for alleged, yeah, allegedly uh, violating the Center Bank, yeah, Central Bank's guidelines and related to data localization storage and sharing norms so somewhere the google pay is not that much secure uh, and just if you are using google pay just um, think about it and just try to minimize the use of it the plea stated that google pay india launched google india launched the uh, mobile app service targeted at users in india which later folded into a new google pay app this app was working like that and then it was folded in google pay app the third party app which facilitated payment in the upi ecosystem and is able to do the same by partnering with various psp and acquirer bankers so somewhere google pay is not that much um, uh, I can say secure according to high court and uh, let's see what is the uh, what will be the consequences of, of it the police or direction to the RBI to take appropriate punitive action against the NPCI and revoke its author authorization to re uh, operate and regulate the UPI payment system on account of risk customer payment data its failure to audit google india digital services private limited and take any steps against it despite its action of flagrant and serious non-compliance of applicable laws okay this was all happened under the justice prateek jalan okay uh, the next is Kejua launches mobile app and online OPD registration system. Kejriwal, Delhi government CM of Kejriwal on Monday launched a mobile app and an online OPD registration system and for Shri Dada Dev Mantri uh, Avam Shishu Chikitsalai. Avam Shishu Chikitsalai, sorry. Okay, the app will be a convenient solution and especially for pregnant women during the time of COVID-19 pandemic as they will no longer be required to stand in queues for registration. He said that the Delhi government would launch the hospital management information system to bring all hospitals in Delhi on one platform and they are integrated the uh, they will integrate the features of the app with HMIS to improve this or its efficiency. Okay, uh, Sri Dada Dev Mantri Ayam Shishu Chikitsalai conducts ten thousand. Matri Evam Shishu Chikitsalai, sorry, uh, conducts 10,000 deliveries across the year. So somewhere, listen, what is happening here? Um, the OPD is going to be, con uh, online OPD will be there and registration system will be there. The mobile app will be there because somewhere we can see that by all these consequences, by the pandemic, only because of pandemic, I can say the thing are going worse and the situation of maternals, uh, mental health security or I can say the uh, situation of pregnant ladies is not that much good and they are not secure to go through all those uh, hospitals where 
covid 19 patients are being have been stored okay so all uh, to aware with all these things to uh, avoid all these issues and to get uh, um, pregnant ladies be safe so for all these things delhi government or i can say cm arvind kejriwal is planning something regarding medical services he is going to launch the app he, along with this he is also going to integrate all the hospitals he is also trying to manage uh, the hospitals and he is um, launching he would be launching the hmis to bring all hospitals in delhi on one platform okay so the efficiency will be improved the situation will be improved and the uh, sections of i can say pregnant ladies or the ladies or the uh, girls or the child that are not secure in this atmosphere regarding medical services they will be beneficial uh, there will be the beneficial services with this particular app and the opd system of registration okay so let's see what is going to be the next this is a very ambitious project and will be completed within one year so somewhere we can say that yeah it is a good initiative of delhi government and let's see what is going to be the next okay the next uh, uh, article is based on karnataka karnataka to amend laws to implement education policy karnataka government is going to uh, launch or i can say implement the education policy in their state and for that they are going to amend laws government going ahead with specific goals and agents agendas and uh, what is happening the karnataka government is making all preparations to bring in administrative reforms and amendments to the laws which are essential to implement the national education policy this is said by the deputy chief minister c n ashwat narayan okay who also hold the higher education portfolio it would become the first state to implement the policy the deputy cm said deputy cm said that karnataka cm said that karnataka will be the first state to implement the education policy at the inaugural session inaugural session the uh, highlights of the national education policy and its implementation a five day online workshop organized by the university of bangalore he said the state government was going ahead with specific goals and a clear agenda a high level task force was construct, uh, constituted which has already held several meetings the committee has already come out with suggestions to implement the policies in a phased manner it will be implemented in a uh, different uh, phased manner okay only the recommendations of the final stage are weighted and uh, the uh, administration and administrative and legal steps would be taken as soon as the final recommendations are made the deputy cm said the new policy would make high quality education available to all students he said okay so karnataka will be the first state to implement education policy and according to the amended laws the first uh, sorry the next news is india and china prepare for fresh talks the little progress in restoring status quo ante ante as the stand off along the lcs and ac at 17th week as the situations of china and india as the conflicts between china and india on Gal- in galwan valley or on the um, lac in the lac area and on the border the all these things are happening from last 16 weeks and now we entered in the 17th week as of now okay so it is quite um, i can say uh, relaxing that they are going to get a little progress in storing restoring the status of co ante and somewhere the stand off along with this uh, and the situation are going to be good as the talks are going on the by these days and as you know the last talk was about fixing the disengagement and about fixing the situation and I hope this particular meeting of fresh talks will be given a good appearance in our relationship somewhere uh, china is going down and uh, along with this uh, india is also in the mood of good relation with china or i can say good relation with neighboring countries because the relation conflicted relations between china and india will be a uh, you know i can say a very worst effect for each and every neighboring country of india okay 
let's see what is going to be the next what will be the next talks and what when it will be the um it will be organized that uh, or i can say when it will be announced that everything is going good everything is going normal the status quo ante uh, situations are going back and uh, all the conflicts are going down so we are waiting even i am waiting for all those situations because somewhere i am tired of listening all even i can understand the situation of all those um i can say military people all those soldiers who are working there on border who are 24/7 working alert they are on border and they are not aware what is going to be happen by the next and uh, yeah let's see what is going to be the next what will be the fresh talks give us and what will be the good news for all those uh, soldiers that are working on their border areas okay the next news is consider online need from next year this is all about that need and jee see the situations are going worst i mean neat jee exams are going to be conducted according to the supreme court by the next month in september uh, this is going to be uh, conducted but somewhere the students the parents are not that much interested to go with these exams because they are not uh, very well or very equipped to go through these exams because somewhere covid 19 and the situation and the pandemic is not that much normal situations are not normal pandemic is on peak and this uh, i can say local transport or you know, transport services are not open actually uh, that they are not that much open so somewhere the situations are not according or up to the mark so we have to be aware about what is happening and the supreme court should announce the postponement of these exams because recently supreme court gave the of offer and uh, sorry orders and uh, supreme court refuses to go through the postponement of exams they have decided the entrance exam will be fixed and it will be conducted by 13th of september so let's see uh, supreme court said that uh, to set the uh, supreme court gave the orders to set up the uh centers and uh, let's see what's going to be the next the supreme court on monday asked the medical council of india to consider providing an online option for taking the neat exam for from next year if joint entrance examination is allowed online why not neat it is the same national allergy national testing agency at that is nta conducting both uh, um, exams why can't you think of something next year you can think about it just recently supreme court said to authorities to conduct the online exam by the next year uh, from next year the online exams will be considered for the neat examinations let's see what is going to be the next what will the results of it the court said the petitions had not shown any arbitrariness in the con- uh, conduct of the meet hence the scope of judicial review was limited okay so let's see what uh, even i i am in favor of postpone the exam because somewhere the situations are not normal not normal at all the students are still and the parents are very um, you know very tensed about what will happen if their child will go through the um, local services bus services train services and if they will be going like this or they are going to give the exam like this then definitely this will be a negative uh, reaction of their health and the covid 19 will be there in their house okay let's see what is going to be the next the next news is guwahati gets india's longest river ropeway india's longest passenger ropeway across a river was unveiled in guwahati on monday almost a year after it was completed 1.82 km by cable zigzag ropeway connects a forest campus near the kamrup metro and uh, delhi deputy commissioner's office in the city of the southern bank of the brahmaputra and a hillock behind the dol govinda temple in north guwahati of the on the other 
okay the ropeway passes over the mid river peacock island that houses umanand a uh, medieval shiv temple okay the uh, let's see what is uh, basically it is so adventurous as i can see in the picture and it is quite um i can say i am very excited to go there <laughs> so somewhere yeah it is a good thing that we got the longest ever river ropeway in india only and it is upon um, it is on guwahati let's see um how adventurous it is and when we are going to have a ride in it okay the next news is uh, this is the basically editorial article uh, article from the editorial section and the news is the article is back and forth pakistan must fulfill its fatf obligations by acting against terrorists pakistan's moves to tackle terrorism on its soil and particularly cross border terrorism have often been described as one step forward and one step back basically all the things are like uh, in the case of pakistan we all knows that everything is just uh, you know happening in front of them but they are showing it behind so somewhere um, this is the main issue with india and pakistan that they are pakistan is feeding the terrorism and ter- all those terrorist or terrorism terrorist activities are reacting on india so the situation is like we have the um, you know enemies relation because only because of terrorism i think so because this is the biggest issue okay so when it comes to the broader support terror groups have enjoyed within a country thus it would come as a little surprise that within days of issuing a statutory regulatory order listing daud ibrahim the let's jaki ur rahman lakwi and about 85 other designated terrorists so terrorist activities are going on how the uh, ministry of um, you know, pakistan should aware about it what they should do and what they could um, and this how they could understand the situation of other countries that are affected by terrorist activities and uh, how they are feeding all those people that are the destroyer of world so they they have to understand the pakistan's foreign affair ministry denied that the listing was new and somewhere the i can say 85 plus terrorist groups are feeding there are getting feeds there i can say are uh, they are living there they are having shelter as pakistan so somewhere the re- relation between pakistan and india are conflicted the uh, reason behind this is terrorist and uh, terrorist activities basically and the pakistan's shelter for terrorist also so uh, they should go through this pakistan should um, go through all these situations they should understand the situation of other countries and definitely they should understand their own condition because time to the time i'm getting the news uh, by so many times that pakistan terrorist attack at pakistan some school or some offices so they are not even escaping uh, i can say they are not even leaving pakistan they are also taking pakistan in their own uh, you know own greed i can say okay so somewhere pakistan should go through all these things and they should know what is happening behind okay the next news is people's parties resumption of political activity and restoration of statehood are a must in jammu and kashmir it is all about jammu kashmir six mainstream parties of jammu kashmir on saturday vote to work together for the restoration of its special status under the indian constitution on 5th august 2019 the central hollowed out article 370 and dismembered jammu kashmir into two union territories through a dubious legislative route saturday's joint declaration is a reiteration of their gupkar declaration and sorry a day before the centers move last year still this signals a 
slow return of political activities in jammu and kashmir so somewhere we can say that the political activities and political situation are again installing in jammu and kashmir okay and after um, a one year after a year of all that happened the uh, i can say the removal uh, activities of article or the hollowed activities of article 370 the special it, uh, status regarding jammu kashmir was taken and it was divided into two union territory so somewhere all these activities were not uh, that much shown that much affected by the last ma- last one year but somewhere the next situation is somewhere we can see the political activities are going on the political activities are again on their track they are coming on their track they um, held a meeting and they decided to get work on their restoration of special status okay so let's see what they are doing what they are thinking of what will be the reactions or what will be the actions of those people uh, in the rea- what will be the reaction in the context of article 370 in that particular area and what will be the actions of that particular party or those particular situations which will be happen in future according to their talks and according to their uh, meetings at all okay there is a need for immediate course re- correction and jammu and kashmir's statehood must be restored and political activity should be freely allowed for a start if they we are going to start all these things then they will definitely be uh, very neutral regarding the situation okay but if we are not going to do this we are going to overcome the uh, you know we are um, going to overtake the situations then definitely situa- situation will uh, adversely affect you they will give you the adverse effect they will give you the negative effect okay so let's see what is going to be the next india does need a fiscal council we need a fiscal council though it is not a silver bullet it is an important institution needed to complement the rule based fiscal policy as the economical positions are going worse and we need to go through because of pandemic and covid 19 the situations are worst the situation are just like you know the situations are uh, just uh, behind the thing uh, imagination or thinking so somewhere we need to work on fiscal policy we need to work on fiscal council uh, india does not need a fiscal council basically and we need the important complications we need to uh, we need to implement the important issues important i can say decisions to restore the situations to restore the economic activities as we were going on okay so what is the what is basically needed transparency transparency and other things are basically needed okay so all these things were um, things are here in this particular article and the fiscal policy was discussed and um, the fiscal policy is not needed here in india and what basically we needed is mentioned here in this article you should go for it this is the article from m govind rao a member 14th um, it he is the member of 14th finance commission and the former director of national institute of public finance authority and finance and policy okay so uh, you should go for this article and definitely you will get a good result of it okay see all these articles we are taking here and discussing here in just brief uh, area or brief manner you have to go through the descriptive manner but the only thing is i am just giving you an idea that what this particular article article is carrying what are the main points this article or um, the articles are focusing on you have to go through the particular situation you have to go through the particular articles we have to you have to go through the detailed analysis of the particular topic okay so don't forget to go through the newspaper and just go through the hindu newspaper this is the main and important newspaper at all you should go for it because this important newspaper is carrying a huge knowledge for your examinations especially if you are going through the mains of upsc or you are going through the other examinations uh, that will carry the descriptive which will be carrying the descriptive answers or even 
for prelims also for objective types questions also there are so many things that you should go for okay so don't forget to go through the hindu daily newspaper and just go through all these important articles we have discussed here okay so thanks for being with me thanks for watching bye bye take care and definitely one more thing someone answered my question someone gave me the uh, answer of situations regarding covid-19 and all these situations what i have told about in my last video i mean yesterday's video so thanks for your answer again and uh, uh, even i just forgot your name so don't worry about it i will mention it in uh, comment section but here again thanks a lot that you gave your precious time you are participating and it sees uh, it shows basically uh, it shows that somewhere you are very very interactive you are really giving good ideas and good response to these articles okay and your answer was up to the mark so thanks for participating keep it up and always participate and keep always participating okay and today's homework is to evaluate the situation economic condition of today's answer and give your ideas to again um, take back our economy on track okay bye bye take care have a great day